Since 1999, the Florida citrus industry has been pushing hard for a system to mechanically harvest its sweet orange crop for juice processing. The most prominent system has been the Oxbow Freedom 3200, a self-propelled continuous canopy shake and catch system. Two harvesting units work in tandem on either side of the tree row. Fruit drops to a catch frame and is conveyed to a trailing field truck. Under uniform tree canopy conditions, the system recovers nearly 90% of the fruit and improves worker productivity by more than tenfold over manual harvesting. Growers who have used the system report net returns increasing by between two and three hundred dollars per acre. But despite this increase in net returns and, and, and harvest cost savings, most growers have been reluctant to embrace mechanical harvesting, mainly due to the visible tree damage this equipment leaves behind. The research presented in this paper builds on previous work conducted by University of Florida horticulturalists who designed replicated field experiments to measure the impact of mechanical harvesters on next year's fruit crop and long-term tree health. This research approached the same questions but from a different perspective and compiled yield data from 47 commercial sweet orange blocks over a 10-year period from 1999 through 2008. 14 blocks were hand harvested exclusively. Eight blocks were harvested mechanically for the entire 10-year period. Regression analysis incorporated the effects of rootstock, variety, tree age, as well as harvesting method on the dependent variable, which was the annual average fruit yield for each study block. Our research supported the conclusions from prior research that mechanical harvesting had no significant short or long-term impacts on fruit yield. An important caveat remains, however, that is, long-term success in mechanical harvesting depends on healthy, well-nourished trees. Halfway through our study period, citrus greening, or HLB, was confirmed and became widespread within the study area of southwest Florida. In recent years, healthy trees have become the exception rather than the norm. Consequently, most growers who were mechanically harvesting have ceased and focused their energies on restoring their trees to better health. Once that is accomplished, the results of this study should give growers the confidence to restart mechanical harvesting equipment.